Hi, this is Drew, KD7QCU. I'm just going to show you uh, how I uh, reuse old connectors off of old coax that I find at uh, either ham uh, swap meets or uh, just off of Craigslist. Um, you know, we get these uh, random pieces of old coax that are all bent up and um, just stuff, something that you wouldn't want to use. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and take this connector off. And this is just my quick way of doing it. So I go ahead and uh, take unscrew this and uh, send it down the coax. Um, if there's no connector on the other end, I just go ahead and pull it off. And one thing I like to do is I like to take a wire brush and just kind of clean up these, uh, just the grip here, just to make it a little bit nicer so you don't have a whole, all that gunk and whatnot that's built up over the years. And um, so this is a nice silver connector, so that's good. And uh, the inside is all clean. Usually if it's not, I'll take a, a Q-tip uh, and just kind of wipe it around in there and make sure all that's clean. You can throw your pinky in here and make sure uh, all that's nice and clean in there. So that's good. So we'll go ahead and set this down. And next we want to pick up our coax again, and uh, I usually go through and uh, just take the wire brush and scrape any uh, gunk off. Sometimes they use uh, some of that stuff to keep moisture out of the coax, and that's always nice to make the connector good. So I just go ahead and take this wire brush and kind of scrape in here, make sure uh, that's all nice. You can also take some steel wool, but I just use a wire brush. Um, so now what we do... As I go ahead and take some uh, diagonal cutters and I go ahead and cut off about a quarter inch uh, down from the connector right here. Um, so give me one second to do that. I need a new pair of wire cutters. These are getting dull. All right, so we now have our connector. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and place this in a vise right here. Just gonna tighten that down. And then um, depending on how uh, tight this is and how much uh, you know solder they used uh, to uh, do this correctly, um, you might want to use a pair of vice grips for this, but now what we're going to do is we're just going to twist this, and uh, you'll hear the braid kind of breaking. And so, and this one uh, actually did a good job on, so I'm just going to take my vice grips and uh, now just spin that. So now what's going to happen is the center pin is going to stay stationary and the outer uh, part of the connector is going to be able to spin. Um, now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and grab our butane torch and uh, go ahead and light this thing. And so now, sorry, I'm jumping ahead. Um, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and unscrew the uh, shield and uh, jacket completely out of this uh, connector. Um, so we're just going to keep pulling this until this comes out. Now you say, yeah, sure, but you could just go to a ham radio outlet and get some, get some connectors, but what poor college students can do that? Alright, so there we go. Now it's starting to come out. And so you'll notice that uh, you can see the uh, thread marks. Let's get this focused. There we go. You can see the thread marks. There we go. Just like that. So we have the braid that came off, and now we still have the uh, center insulation. So we're just going to go ahead and take these and pull this off. Boy. This is not one to come off. I was thinking this was going to be an easy video. I have to excuse my connector here. It's being temperamental. Nah, we'll be able to unsolder it without. Okay, so now what we do is we go ahead and throw, um, imagine that the insulation isn't here, but we would go ahead and throw this into the vise and uh, tighten it down. And now what you would want to do is you'd want to now go get your butane torch. Go ahead and light this up. And we're just going to be focusing primarily on the center conductor, the pin of the, uh, of the connector. And we're going to be applying upward pressure to the vice grips. 
until it pops off just like that. And so now we're going to go ahead and turn off our torch. Let our piece of old coax drop. And so now we have the gunk in here that we have to uh, clean up. But as you can see inside, uh, our center pin is completely empty and there's no wires in there. It's just on the outside. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to take our vice clamps, resize them to uh, grab onto the connector here. Just like so. Okay. Now we're going to focus with our butane torch primarily on the outside um, to clean off all this solder. And so we're going to take our torch and just focus right here. And then once you see the solder start getting molten, what you can do is you can just tap it. And then the solder and old wires will just fall right off. So now what you'll want to do is you'll want to just take a screwdriver or a pair of dikes or whatnot and just kind of get the rest of the uh, wires off. And then usually this thing is still pretty hot to, uh, to keep this. Um, so I could actually take solder and, uh, and tap it on this and, and tin it uh, if I wanted to. But right now I'm just going to take a wire brush and just make sure that I get all that gunk out of the connector here. Now the only last thing uh, that can happen is the uh, insulation of the connector can actually pull the center pin and the insulation away a little bit from this connector. So one thing I enjoy to do is open up my, uh, open up my vise here. And go ahead and place this in. And then go ahead and slowly just push this back in. So that's going to make that center pin go back to the, uh, the place where it needs to be. And so once this is cooled down, uh, you now can go ahead and solder this connector again. Um, also, sometimes you'll have a little bit of residue left inside. Um, and so that's when you can take a uh, drill bit and go ahead and get your drill or just use your fingers and do this to uh, take out any solder that's in there. Uh, KD7QCU73s.